number 10 Raider of all time, Marcus Allen. You know, with Jordan, you say Michael, and everybody knows who you're talking about. You know, when you say Marcus, you knew you weren't talking about Dupree. From the moment he joined the Raiders as a first-round draft pick in 1982, our number 10 Raider showed the versatility that would define his career. Foot toss to Allen. Fakes left, comes back right, throwing in. Christensen open, makes the catch on the five. Touchdown, Raiders! Maybe the most complete football player ever. Just such a, 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 mul a multiple threat. I mean, he could catch it out of the backfield. The guy was great pass protection. Obviously, you know, he didn't have the greatest speed in the world, but he had that great football speed because he always ran away from people. Through 11 seasons with the team, Allen is the Raiders' all-time leading rusher and fifth leading receiver. But his performance against the Redskins in Super Bowl 18 made him a prime candidate for our list. A break. Marcus Allen, everybody knows, tights off, squeezes through, and goes 82 yards for the touchdown. Cuts one way, breaks across the grain, comes up to me field with 62, 68 yard touchdown. <sighs> remember that? I remember that. And then the great part of the play is everybody said Marcus didn't have enough speed. Oh, and then he outruns everybody to the end zone for a touchdown. They were supposed to lose by 21. They won by 21. Holy Toledo, Marcus Allen has just claimed full title of all world for 1983. That play is a signature play for him, and it's a signature play for the Raiders. had a nose for the end zone, but remains on the tail end of this list due to the arrival of two sports standout, Bo Jackson, in 1987. I felt really bad when Bo Jackson came on the team and they had to start splitting time. They couldn't find a way to keep both of those guys happy. And the tackle, five touchdown Raiders, Bo Jackson. You have to give the nod to Al Davis. I thought it was a really good decision not to play him for five years. So, Marcus, I know you're a future Hall of Fame running back, but we kind of don't need you for the next five years. We'll just let you ride on the bench. But for Marcus to get mad and go play for the Chiefs just bothered me. And I think if he had played that entire career at the Raiders, he may have been in the top three or four. No comment. <laughs> Picking this list, I mean, was it a Raider person to pick this list? Is Allen a Raider traitor? And does he belong on this list? Traitor? No way. Never traitor. Even though he did score his 100th touchdown against us. You guys remember that one, huh? He breaks the tackle at the goal line. He's in for a touchdown. That's his 100th career touchdown. Yeah. Marcus is way too low. I, I know Al may disagree, but, but Marcus is one of the ultimate Raiders. Al's probably angry if he is on your top ten. He's probably getting a phone call. You could probably... Uh, throw him off the list just because he did go play for the Chiefs, and, and, and that, that, that alone uh, is, is a mortal sin.